Well, good morning. Good morning po sa inyong lahat. Uh, welcome. Good morning sa iyo kapatid kung saan ka man naroon. Uh, kamusta na? I hope na naging mabuti naman ang iyong pagtulog at uh, paggising. No? <laughs> so, praise God. At uh, tayo po ay merong uh, panibagong araw ngayon. It's a Thursday and uh, it's uh, April 8. Uh, and we are now in episode 219. Wow, amazing, no? God is good. So, uh, welcome. Thank you for uh, making time for this. Uh, salamat at um, lalo na for, for you na ginagawa mong regular itong practice na to of listening and participating dito sa ating uh, daily devotional every day. So, uh, praise God. I affirm you. I commend you. No, This is a good thing. Yung uh, mag-set aside tayo ng time para manahimik, ma- makinig sa salita ng Panginoon. Napaka-buti at napaka-ganda niyan sa buhay natin. So, uh, congratulations. Thank you so much sa ating Panginoon, sa grace niya sa buhay niya. And if you are uh, new here, maybe this is your first time, you just uh, probably... Uh, Stumbled on this, siguro, or may nag-invite sa'yo, well, welcome, praise God, thank you for uh, accepting yung invitation, or thank you for staying. No, we do this every day from Monday to uh, Friday, so uh, once again, meron pa tayo sa pang uh, araw, bukas, by God's grace, para uh, gawin ulit ito. So every day we do this, and we broadcast uh, ngayon in uh, four places, sa sa page ng RLCC, sa channel ng RL, uh, sa page ng RLCC sa Facebook, sa channel ng RLCC sa YouTube, ganon din sa Twitter and also in my personal profile. So wherever you might be, uh, welcome, welcome sa inyo, no? And um, once again, I I hope na isama niyo sa panalangin niyo yung ating gawain this coming uh, Saturday. Uh, it will be the start of a new ministry uh, sa radio no sa 1458 called uh, get real so 1:30 pm yon 30 minutes lang pero uh, looking forward na sana mas uh, marami ang ma-reach natin doon you know and i hope this time it plays ano so if you play ko ulit yung plug natin and uh, uh, i hope na you would uh, listen sige tingnan natin kung magpi-play ito Get Real is the weekly radio program of real-life Christian communities. Join us as we learn God's Word together para maranasan natin ang real life in Christ together with others. Ang real-life Christian communities ay isang movement composed of various Christian communities located in various places, both online and in person, that are united under one vision, one set of values, and one set of biblical beliefs. Join us every Saturday from 1.30 to 2.00 p.m. Dito sa DZJV 1458 Radio Caliber Zone. Let's get real. Oh yan, you know, nag-play, no, buti naman. Praise God, you know. 
So that will be uh, this coming uh, Saturday na no at 1:30 p.m. sa uh, Radio Calabarzon no uh, 14:58 a.m. Hopefully uh, you know uh, one day magkaroon din tayo ng FM. So that would be awesome, di ba? Please pray for it and uh, at the same time uh, if you want to support that ministry uh you're you know you're welcome to do so uh, i would appreciate that uh, in fact any of my ministries naman pwede you just uh reach out to me no let me know if that's uh, what you want to do if you want to uh you know participate or partner with me sa ginagawa ko sa sa ministry online you know uh doing my best to proclaim the word of god in many different ways so uh yeah Purihin ang Panginoon for that. So, dumako na tayo sa Word of God today. no? And that's uh, our main purpose naman. So, ang text natin today is 1 Peter uh, chapter 4, verse uh, 7 to 11. Okay? So, if you have your Bibles with you, uh, samahan niyo ako doon. And let's read, you know, verse 7 hanggang 11. The end of all things is near. Therefore, be alert and of sober mind, so that you may pray. Above all, love each other deeply, because love covers over a multitude of sins. Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. If anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. If anyone serves, they should do so with the strength God provides, so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To Him be the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. So ito po ang word of God para sa atin this morning. Kaya tayo po ay uh, manalangin, humingi ng tulong sa Panginoon as we meditate on this. Sige po, uh, samahan ninyo ako. Let's uh, close our eyes, uh, bow our heads, and come into the presence of God. Lord, um, thank you so much for waking us up. Uh, lalo na dito sa Pilipinas. For others, Lord, na nasa ibang bansa, maybe they're just um, wrapping their day, ika nga, patapos na yung araw nila, or maybe they're moving towards uh, evening. And um, Salamat po, Lord, salamat. We are grateful for each and every day. Uh, and Lord, at the same time, um, you are um, reminding us na, Lord, itong time na meron kami, is not uh, just going to be forever. There is going to be uh, the end of all things. So, Lord, I pray na by God's grace, um, turuan mo kami, uh, speak to us today. Help us na yung knowledge namin tungkol sa bagay na ito uh, would, would lead to something positive at uh, hindi takot, but uh, really... Uh, Lord, you desire for us to live our lives productively in the meantime. So, Panginoon, speak to us. Uh, guide us and help us to understand your word. Salamat po, Panginoon. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, um, puri ng Panginoon. Ano? Uh, itong passage na to is uh, reminding us, no? Through the Apostle Peter. No, si Peter, of course, as we all know, um, nung nasa, you know, if we read about him sa Gospels, we may think of him as uh, parang medyo flaky ng konti, no? maraming problema in terms of character. Pero by this time, um, when he wrote this, no, he has matured, you know, and he has uh, learned a lot of things from his Savior. And so, yung kanyang uh, words are words of uh, wisdom and edification sa atin. So, what is this all about, no? Well, it's clear dito sa verse 7 na it's really talking about yung the end, ano? the end of all things. Sabi niya, the end of all things is near. Now, ang ibig sabihin ni, ni Peter, no, is that, um, you know, pwedeng dumating na muli ang Panginoon. Of course, he doesn't know that and 
It's been 2,000 years. But uh, the idea, no, na, the end is, uh, you know, of all things, the end of the world, as we call it sometimes, that's going to happen, you know. We just don't know when, okay. Now, that's important kasi, minsan, uh, if we are not uh, siguro aware or careful, minsan, naisip siguro natin, uh, well, we are just going to get better and better, no? Um, alam naman natin, na, di ba, ang tao, matalino yan, you know, with all the technological advances, mga nagagawa natin in different areas, no? Science, ano? maraming nagagawa. Uh, you know, na marami tayong mga nadidiscover, na di develop you know ngayon meron ng mga robotics you know nakakapunta na tayo sa iba't ibang lugar no na pag landing na sa Mars ng ano ng mga Range Rovers ganyan and nag-explore na doon ng life etc so there are a lot of things na masasabi natin na, na improve no because sa uh, kapasidad ng tao but uh, at the same time you know Every now and then, uh, remind tayo na we're not that smart. For example, itong virus na ito is a rebuke to us. No? Uh, kala ng mga tao nung na-develop na yung mga vaccines, you know, solve na yung problema natin. But as it is, if you just listen to the news, it's uh, quite obvious na hindi ganun. No? In fact, uh, the opposite is true. Kakaroon ngayon ng mga third wave, fourth wave, you know, nagtataasan ngayon ng mga infections. And, uh, of course, it's a rebuke, no, sa atin. I, I don't know if it would lead to any kind of repentance or recognition, no, on the part of governments to come before the Lord in humility. I want ko lang, no, pero I think uh, what is happening is a parang a way for us to really see, no, Uh, that we don't have the power to really control things. Now, sometimes kasi pag uh, hindi natin iniisip, you know, yung idea ng, ano, ng katapusan ng lahat ng mga bagay at yung pagbabalik ng ating Panginoon, minsan nakakalimutan rin natin yun. Ano? And uh, dapat tayong siyempre paalalahanan. The end of all things is near, sabi ni Peter. And so therefore, we should always keep that in mind. Not in the sense na para matakot tayo, you know. Uh, the Word of God uh, clearly uh, tells us in so many other passages na hindi yun ang parang expected na response. You know, pag sinabing the end of the world na, nako, matatakot ka na, di ba? No, that's not the response na kailangan mangyari, no? Instead, ang kailangan mangyari sa atin is, uh, of course, a greater devotion, you know. So, our knowledge of the end you know, should result in greater devotion. Not speculation. That's another thing na kailangan din natin bantayan. You know? Kasi, of course, there are, there are people who deny na, you know, that the end is uh, near. You know? Kasi nga, dahil 2,000 years na, na lumilipas, simula nung sinabi ni, ni Peter ito. And if we can consider pa in the Old Testament, mas patagal pa yun, you know? Now, pero pag uh, nagpo-prophesy kasi ang mga biblical writers, you know, they speak as if parang nandiyan na, no? Pero that's th- really the way they speak. It's not, it doesn't mean na literally nandiyan na, no? Because otherwise, they, you, we might accuse them of uh, false, ano, di ba? Prophecy or whatever, di ba? No, they're speaking from the point of view of faith, no? Uh, for them, it is so real and so, ano, tawag dito uh, definite no na mangyayari na they would speak as if nandiyan na no parating na that's how they speak no whether it's old testament or so new testament whenever nakita tayo ng prophecies you know mapapansin natin yung tono niya is parang imminent no parang nandiyan na not because talaga nandiyan na like they're saying in effect na well you know tingnan niyo lang nandiyan na uh, the the way of speaking is so that we may understand the reality of it, you know, and uh, the definite uh, aspect of it, na it's really going to happen. But uh, more importantly, the implication of it. You know, sometimes kasi, you know, we say things without really thinking about ano yung implication. Okay. So, 
lalo na among Christians, siyempre, misan we just mouth words, you know, there are things that we believe in, ganyan, no, naiwala tayo sa resurrection, but what does it mean, ganun? Uh, this Sunday, I'll be talking about the ascension, which, you know, people don't really celebrate. Wala namang bumabati ng happy ascension, parang ganun. <laughs> because it's not something that people see as being relevant. But it's definitely relevant. It's so important. Now, we see it all throughout uh, the New Testament, no? yung, yung idea ng ascension. And I'll be talking about that this Sunday. So, join me sa Sunday worship natin at 10 a.m. Uh, same places din naman dito sa kung nasan kayo naroon. Now, uh, tawag dito, yung, you know, yung bagay na yun is, uh, you know, uh, something na kailangan natin iisipin. Ano, ano bang implication? Implication, ano bang relevance o application din, no? Nung second coming ni Lord, yung the end of all things. Kasi para sa Kristiyano, the end of all things is also equal to the second coming. In other words, when the end comes, you know, the end of this present age na alam natin, Jesus will come back, will return. Now, ang problema, of course, is that uh, sometimes mga Kristiyano, they love to speculate, no? Marami silang uh, may tendency tayo na maghula-hula na oh, ito na yung Antichrist o oh, you know, nung naimbento na yung naalala ko years ago nung lumabas yung barcode, ano? Sabi nila, iyan na, yan na yung palatandaan sa Revelation. Now, we can actually go into all that speculation even uh, parang being so definite about mga detalye, you know? Uh, for example, you know, of course, there are people who believe na in, in, the, in the rapture, ganyan, and they'll be so specific about it. Well, actually, you know, throughout church history, you know, that has always been parang uh, an indefinite kind of uh, idea. I mean, di lahat ng mananampalataya, uh, na totoong mananampalataya, ay naniniwala sa rapture, you know. Some do and some don't, no? And it's not really an issue kasi... I mean, uh, uh, there are some verses that might indicate that, no, like the uh, First Thessalonians. Pero there are many other verses that simply say na isa lang ang, ang second coming, no, walang dalawang second coming na yung unang second coming secret at yung pangalawang second coming eh lantaran. Anyway, the point is not to speculate, no. We can, of course, have our convictions about those things, no, lalo na yung mga ganong mga detalye. But the implication of the the end of all things should not be speculation, but rather greater devotion. And this is what we see in the writing of uh, Apostle Peter dito sa 1 Peter 4. No? Sabi niya, the end of all things is near. Pero ano ang kanyang application? Therefore, sabi niya, be alert and of sober mind so that you may pray. Now, of course, he's not talking about merely parang quiet time lang. Uh, he's really talking about a kind of attitude, no? Yung being watchful and spiritually uh, ika nga alert. Yung idea ng sober mind, you know, of course, is the opposite of lasing, di ba? So, sober mind means uh, hindi ka intoxicated, you know, you're, you have your wits about you, ika nga, you're, you're uh, you know, well aware of your what's going on, so life mo. And of course, this is something that tinuro ni Lord kay Peter no? and the other apostles. Sabi na ni, ng ating Panginoon sa kanila na watch and pray, no? for the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak. And by that, uh, Jesus means na hindi lang yung mag, you know, mag-pray, mag-prayer meeting sila o mag-quiet time. But really, the overall spiritual mindset, no? knowing fully well na in this world, while we are in this world, there's always that pressure na squeezing upon us, trying to form our character so that we would become someone else, you know, a person who is not, you know, reflecting the image of God. Merong constant pressure na ganun sa mundong ito. And so it's very important na sabi ni Peter, be alert ka and, and be sober-minded, you know, so that you may pray, meaning so that you may have this... Um, you know, uh, attitude of really depending upon the Lord and communicating with Him and listening to Him. Okay? Prayer is more than just quiet time. Uh, pag sinabi sa scriptures na pray, it means, you know, listen and pay attention and 
uh, let the Lord guide you and lead you sa buhay mo. And of course, you know, yan yung bagay na mahirap gawin, lalo na sa mundong kinagagalawan natin na kung saan parang lahat ng bagay gusto tayong pagmadaliin, di ba? Siguro napapansin mo sa sarili mo yung parang masyado kang hurried, you know, ang dami mong gustong ma-accomplish. Uh, but it, it's a certain kind of lifestyle na kailangan ma-develop natin. Uh, sabi ni, uh, you know, ng mga Ignatian, ano, no? yung mga sumusunod doon sa mga turo ni Ignatius, ano, na sabi niya, yung tinatang na Ignatian spirituality, sabi nila ngayon, no? it's good to be uh, active but contemplative. Yun ang term nila. Active but contemplative. Meaning na uh, even as you go about, you know, let's say ministry, you're doing ministry or whatever, at the same time, nado ka sa attitude of contemplation. Nado ka sa attitude of making sure that you're hearing from God and that you're not just going out there trying to change the world all by yourself. So, ito yung nakikita ni Peter na implication ng, ano, ng second coming or the end of the world. No? Greater devotion to God. No? Therefore, be alert and of sober mind, sabi, so that you may pray. Sabi rin ni Peter sa verse 8, Above all, ano? So, ibig sabihin, more than anything else, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. What does Peter mean by this? Well, sinasabi niya basically na that we are to really practice and learn more how to love each other. And then he uses yung, yung ano na yun, yung uh, adverb na deeply. Meaning to say na hindi lang basta love lang ito, but really, deeply. We should grow in our capacity, in our choice of loving each other. And he, he gives the reason why. Because sabi niya, because love covers a multitude of sins. In other words, as we relate with each other, di ba? There will always be failures. There will always be uh, problems, you know, hindi mo awala yan. There will always be disagreements, there will always be conflicts, uh, there will always be offenses, ganyan. May magagawa at magagawa tayo sa isa't isa na maaaring, ano, uh, magkar- magkaroon ng, ano, ng, ika nga, ng deep hurts, kunyari. But at the same time, you know, of course, because we are living in this world, you know, uh, magkakamali at magkakamali tayo in our choices, etc., but love, sabi niya, love covers over a multitude of sins. In other words, love is the, is the power that can help us to, to overcome. And so Peter is saying na, we know that the end is near, pero instead of speculating or, or even denying it, ano, dapat we should keep that in mind. At ang dapat maging resulta niyan is a greater devotion toward God, of course, number one, but also toward one another. So, sa panahon na no, nabubuhay tayo dito sa mundo, that we should actually be thinking about, okay, alam ko darating ang Panginoon one day, hindi ko alam kung kailan yon so I would not speculate about that. Okay? But instead, I would develop no, uh, yung attitude, no, yung devotion ko sa Panginoon, as well as yung connection ko sa body of Christ. Now is the time to grow, you know, in our ability to love one another. And here, you know, he, uh, si Peter, he gives us ano, some practical tips on how to do that. Sabi niya sa verse 9, Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Now, hospitality, of course, means an openness of one's life toward others. No, It means uh, you're willing to let others in to your life. Now, some of us, siguro, are more private, no? Siguro, introverts tayo. We're more private in our attitude. So, we don't want, uh, you know, people to, you know, parang interfere with what with our little world. You know, sometimes, uh, natatawa nga o minsan sa mga tao na they would, they, they would use Facebook, kunyari, o social media, pero they would not use their real name. Mag, magano sila, parang they will hide uh, behind some other name, hindi mo alam, okay? 
Of course, siguro may dahilan yun. Sometimes kasi may mga tao na nakaranas na ng mga hacking. So, they, they're extra careful. But then, there are others na uh, medyo ironic because they are in social media pero hindi sila social. You know? <laughs> uh, of course, I'm not judging. I'm just saying lang na uh, sometimes we can be too private. You know? In a sense that we don't want to let anybody in. Okay? Now, hospitality is not just inviting people to your home, to your home. Of course, kasama na yun dun, no? But it's really being open in one's life, you know, so that others may come in and have the opportunity to know us and also for us to know them. You know, so offer hospitality to one another without grumbling, meaning without really complaining and being bitter about it. Now, simply, merong Meron namang lugar yung ano, yung privacy. Sabi ng mga Englishman, privacy, no? May lugar naman yun. And of course, dapat lang naman na magkaroon tayo ng respeto sa uh, sa privacy ng bawat isa. We don't want naman na parang wala na tayong sariling ano, uh, private, privacy, no? Uh, so, uh, even in the social media, for example, siyempre meron settings dyan where you can determine yung privacy mo. But at the same time, uh, babalansin hindi naman natin yan. Kasi kung sobra tayong private, na to the point na nobody can really get to know you, the real you, you're always hiding behind your facade, then maybe baka kailangan mo i-examine yan. Because love really uh, tells us na we must be willing to ano, to open our lives. And maybe you're afraid baka masaktan ka. But that's what love is eh. We all talk about love and really love is the greatest thing of all, diba? Uh, sabi, you know, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of this is love, sabi ni Paul. Well, love brings about all the blessings, you know, of joy and, you know, being accepted and all of that. Kaya lang, kalakip sa love, of course, is the possibility of uh, being hurt, you know, the possibility of uh, being disappointed. Kasama yan, eh. And so, there's that risk involved. But, you know, sabi ni Peter, offer hospitality to one another, which means ikaw yung magbukas ng buhay mo sa ibang tao, without grumbling. And then he adds, sabi niya sa verse 10, each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. So again, yung kailangan matuto tayo to have a practical application of love sa buhay natin. Hindi lang yung opening our hearts and our lives to other people so that they can come in and know us and vice versa. But it, also, we should serve one another. We should we should use whatever gift na meron tayo, which means lahat ng tao merong some kind of gift na pwede niyang gamitin. Whatever that may be, that can bless other people. And love is really all about that. Love is uh, willing the good of the person being loved. Yun talaga ibig sabihin ng love, eh? to will the good. In other words, to choose that which is good and beneficial uh, for the person that you say you love. And so therefore, yung gifts na meron tayo, yung talents na meron tayo, it's not simply for ourselves, it's not simply for our enjoyment. No, it is something that we can use no, as a means to serve others. Sabi ni Peter, now we should be faithful stewards daw. A steward is somebody who knows na hindi kanya yung kung ano man yung nasa kanya, kundi pinapagamit lang sa kanya yun. At siya ay manager lamang ng bagay na yun. So, whatever gift daw. So, that includes uh, every, every kind of capacity. Nagbigay ng example si Peter dito sa verse 11. If anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. Which means uh, for some of us na marunong mag-communicate. Now, obviously, hindi lahat, no? Pero there are some who can actually communicate in some way, no? <laughs> some In some way better than others and so forth. Pero every kind of communication, dapat maging self-aware ka na magamit mo yun, you know, for the greater good and to glorify God. Kaya nga sa social media, which is very powerful, you know, sometimes uh, mga Kristiyano, they waste that platform by posting things that, uh, you know, that does not really help. For example, insulting the government or, you know, yung 
mag-pose sila ng, ng something bitter or ano sila, parang galit sila sa mundo. Doesn't really help, you know. <laughs> Uh, I think uh, we need to evaluate yung ating communication. Uh, I'm not saying na lagi na lang tayong seryoso pag nagpo-post tayo. Ako, may nagpo-post din ako ng mga minsan nakakatawa ang mga bagay-bagay because hindi naman ako ganun ka-serious talaga. But um, at the same time, I'm keenly aware na this is a gift. You know, yung, yung tinatawag na social media ngayon, it's a gift. Kasi wala nung araw yan. Yung panahon ko, wala naman ganyan yan when I was young. But uh, I thank God for the technology na ngayon when you post something, uh, a lot of people can see it. Um, even beyond your physical, ano, parang boundaries, ano, hindi lang sa Pilipinas, sa Amerika, o sa San Lopalo pa yung naabot. And so you try to take advantage of that and make use of that to share the wisdom of God, the very words of God, sabi niya ganun. And so I, I, that's what I, I do. I consider that as a, you know, parang a responsibility. And so we should actually be devoted to the Lord in everything na ginagawa natin and also to one another, how we can encourage each other. So really, dapat hindi natin iniisip na, oh, nung pandemic na to, ganyan, ganyan. But we should, what we should actually think about is, paano kaya ako maka-minister sa mga kapwa ko mananampalataya? How can I help them? How can I encourage them? How can I use the gifts na meron ako so that others may be built up? So, yung the knowledge of the end of all things, you know, yung knowledge natin of the end should result in greater devotion. Hindi speculation, hindi anumang mga negative things. It should result in greater devotion. First to God. So, dapat maging resulta ng knowledge natin na You know, anytime, pwedeng dumating na ang Panginoon. Anytime, pwedeng matapos na lahat ito. We know that. So, we're not going to speculate about yung detalye, ano ba, mga signs niya. That's not really our ano, business. Uh, let's leave that to God. God will take care of that. No? Huwag na tayo masyadong ma-engross dun sa ano ba yung mga signs, ano palatandaan na malapit na. Uh, basta alam lang natin na no? malapit. Yun importante. Hindi yung malapit na natin in a sense na, you know, andyan na bukas tarating na. Huwag tayo magsiset ng mga petsa, no? That's foolish. Um, pag sinabi natin malamit, malapit, of course, we don't mean na parang, okay, this will go on millions and millions and millions of years pa itong nangyayari. We don't know those things. We just know na the end of all things is near, sabi ni Peter. So that's it. Now, ang resulta no, no implication no, should be greater devotion. So, the knowledge of the end should result in greater devotion, not speculation. Hindi yung hula-hula. So, sabi ni Peter, if anyone serves, they should do so with the strength God provides. So, sa ministry, dapat ginagawa natin with our utmost best. You know, sometimes kasi when we do ministry with... Yeah, ito nga yung nakakalungkot kasi sometimes pag sa trabaho, yung secular na trabaho, yung may bayad, kanya, may sweldo, minsan nakikita ko yung mga uh, tao, they could be so devoted doon do sa kanilang trabaho, career nila. Talagang they, they seek to do their best, siguro dahil promotions or you know, may salary increase, whatever. Kahit nga minsan yung ano lang eh, sa, tungkol sa health, No, may mga tao talagang devoted sa kanilang health. Talaga naman, kung mag-exercise o kung mag-diet, you know, talagang ganun ka-devoted. Pero pagdating sa ministry, minsan hindi ganun ka-devoted. Parang they just you know, do whatever it is na they require sa kanila and pag nagawa na nila, tama na yun. They don't try to think about paano ko ang pagbubuti ito, paano ko ba magagawa ito with greater devotion, how can I you know, serve God with with all that I am, no? So, yung with the strength that God provides is really a summary lang na parang being conscious na yung ginagawa mong ministry is really from the Lord and for the Lord. Okay? Kaya nga sabi niya sa uli, sabi niya, so that in all things, God may be praised through Jesus Christ. Okay? And then in the end, sabi niya, to Him be the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. Na yung Him can either refer to 
God, no? Or, you know, um, it could refer to Jesus Christ. I, for one, think now it refers to Jesus Christ, no? To Him be the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. But, uh, yeah, it's just my, you know, I think as I look at it, the you know, context. Uh, but it doesn't really matter whether it's referring to God or to Jesus. It's the same, no? In other words, lahat ang ginagawa ko is for the glory of God. Lahat ang ginaano ko is I'm thinking about how do I glorify the Lord. So, yung knowledge of the end, yung katapusan ng lahat, hindi dapat, ano yan, ang resulta niya sa'yo, matakot ka, maging afraid ka. If you're in the Lord, wala kang dapat ikatakot. You know where you're going. You know kung ano ang ending ng lahat. No? So, there's there is no fear dapat. You know? Perfect love cast out all fear, sabi nga ni Peter din. And so, um, I'm sorry, I think that's John pala. So, right now, ang word ng Panginoon sa atin is this, no? That the knowledge of the end should result in greater devotion, not speculation. Devotion meaning not, itong katulad ito, devotional, hindi. I'm not talking about that. Devotion means yung, yung love natin sa Panginoon at sa isa't isa. That should really be the result ng knowledge mo na the end will come. So one thing na kailangan natin iiwasan yung parang kalilimutan na natin na merong the end of all things. Ano? Parang masyado na tayong comfortable sa mundong ito. Naakala natin we can just, you know, become better and better and better. Well, you know, as history unfolds, we will always be reminded na wala sa tao ang pag-asa ng tao. Nasa Panginoon lang yan. And uh, every time there is something that happens in our lives, whether personally, you know, or health-wise, or financially, or relationally, whatever, it's always a reminder sa atin that this is not our final destination. That God has uh, prepared for us a better future, a new world, a new creation, where there will be no more suffering or pain or death. And we will be with our Lord forever in a new creation kung saan we will finally be able to experience what God really wants us to experience. Minus, you know, uh, sin and all its effects. So we're looking forward to that. Sana wag tayo maging complacent na parang as if hindi magtatapos ang mga bagay-bagay. Sana ipaalala natin din sa sarili natin at sa isa't isa. The day of all things is near. Pero wag naman yung para matakot tayo o mag-speculate tayo, manghula tayo, kailan ba darating yan, 2022 ba yan, you know? That is not the, no, the purpose of that knowledge. Alam natin na darating si Lord. Alam natin na hindi magtutuloy-tuloy lang ang bagay-bagay forever and ever. There is going to be an end. We don't know when that would be. And we should not speculate. But what we should do is, you know, grow in our devotion to God and to one another. Let us serve each other, you know. I-open natin yung buhay natin sa isa't isa. You know, offer hospitality, sabi nga nun. With, with, of course, with the right boundaries naman. Okay? So, don't don't assume na parang ibig sabihin wala ka ng privacy. But, you know, wag naman yung sobra kang private and nobody can really know anything about you. No? Be open-hearted sa mga tao, ika nga. And then, gamitin mo kung ano yung meron ka ngayon to serve the Lord. Everyone is called to ministry. Walang follower ni Christ na hindi tinatawag sa ministry. Everybody, every follower of the Lord, no, should serve God and one another. Sabi sa verse 10, each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others. So, walang exemption yan. Uh, pag sinabi mo na, eh, Pastor, bat, ano pa yan? Nagum, bata pa ako sa Panginoon o wala pa ako masyadong alam. Whether bata ka pa o matagal ka nang sa Panginoon, everybody should serve the Lord in some way. O siyempre, nag-grow tayo dyan. Amen? Hindi naman yan parang agad-agad alam natin kung ano yung gagawin natin. But we do what we can, ika nga. 
So, for example, dito sa daily devotions na ito, yung kung ang, ang kaya mo lang gawin is mag, mag-like man lang nitong ating ginagawa. Well, that's good. You can start there. And then maybe, pag may faith ka, you can share. Pwede mo i-share yung post na ito para lumabas sa newsfeed mo. Tapos, kung may faith ka, maybe you can challenge some of your friends to to listen para you can talk about it using yung mga discussion questions. I mean, you, you can go from there, you know, one step at a time. And maybe, dumating yung time na imbis na nagpo-post ka lang ng kung ano mga bagay o lung, laging yung mukha mo lang ang pinopost mo, maybe you can post something that's encouraging, that's going to build up other people. Huwag ka nang sumali dun sa mga negative things na nangyayari sa mundo. Wala, namang mag, wala ka namang magagawa dun. I mean, kung puro criticisms lang ng government o ng politician, it will not bring about change. Ang tunay na pagbabago is of the heart. And only the Holy Spirit can change people's hearts. Kaya, well, I'm not saying that we cannot have our own opinions about things. Maybe we, okay naman yun. And if there's really something na to talk about, let's say, gusto natin i-hold accountable ang any government official about something, yeah, we can do that. But we must always parang timbangin natin yung, okay, will this really bring about the glory of God if I talk like this and if I post this? Or will it just generate division and hatred and bitterness and so forth? Ako, I always think about my, uh, no, my postings and I'm thinking na, makakatulong ba ito? You know? And sometimes my wife, you know, bless her heart, Sometimes she would hold me accountable and she would say, yung pinost mo na yun, helpful ba yun? Maybe you should reconsider that. O nga, titignan ko. And I would say, o nga, no, hindi helpful yun. So, bubrahin ko na lang. Because we want to be responsible. Eh. We want to, sabi niya, if anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. So, dapat maging responsible tayo. Alam natin that the end of all things is near. Pero that should result in greater devotion not speculation. Okay? Hindi tayo maghahanap ng mga signs, okay? At di tayo magdedebate tungkol sa ano ba, may rapture ba, wala bang rapture, uh, yung, yung ano ba, yung uh, seven years ba, yung ano, yung tribulation, you know? those things are, you know, okay, maganda di i-discuss yung mga theology na yan. Siguro sa skwela, sa seminary. But in, you know, in, in actuality, you know, we really cannot be certain about all those things. What we do know is that the end of all things is near. The Lord Jesus Christ will come again, will return. So, anong dapat na maging ano nun? Resulta nun sa buhay ko? Greater devotion. Okay? Greater devotion. So, nawa, yung knowledge mo about the end should result in you becoming more Focus sa uh, spiritual formation mo, sa growth mo in Christ. And pangalawa, that you should actually be uh, right now focusing on paano ka makakapag-serve sa ibang tao, paano ka mag-coconnect sa kanila, and use whatever gift na meron ka to honor the Lord. Yun ang dapat ang ginagawa nating lahat. So, tayo po ay manalangin. Lord, maraming salamat po Panginoon for reminding us that the end of all things is near. So thank you for this knowledge na binigay mo sa amin na that would uh, help us to see things the way they really are. Na hindi kami dapat na magmahal ng mga bagay-bagay because uh, these things won't last. But at the same time, Panginoon, you're teaching us and reminding us to grow in our love for you, Panginoon, in our devotion to you, as well as to one another, Panginoon, to use whatever gifts na meron kami to love people. Dear God, patawarin mo kami na sometimes nakakalimutan namin to. Forgive us, O Lord, for being self-centered sometimes and uh, living our lives as if itong mundo na ito, that's all there is to it. Forgive us, O Lord. 
Thank you for this reminder, Panginoon, and I pray for all of us dito na nakikinig sa daily devotions na to. I pray that we would just sit down and assess ourselves and see where our life is going and how we are using the opportunities na meron kami, Panginoon. Thank you, Lord. No one is uh, too young or too old to serve you, Panginoon. I pray that each one of us, oh God, would use whatever gift na meron na kami na binigay mo sa amin to really serve others, whether in terms of communication or giving or serving or assisting or whatever, Panginoon. Lord, may your name be glorified sa buhay namin, Panginoon. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Well, okay, purihin ng Panginoon and um, that's our ano, uh, devotions for today and I hope and pray na pagmuni-munihan mo ito, pag-isipan mo ito kapatid and uh, may discussion questions akong ilalagay mamayang konti, look at that, maybe you can use it as a basis for your journaling, gusto mo mag-journal kung ano yung mga tinuturo sa inang Panginoon. Uh, but more importantly, wag mo lang sarilihin ito, share mo to sa ibang tao. Share mo sa mga friends, mga high school, ano mo, dabar cards. Okay? And uh, siguro, you know, if you have the faith, mag-start ka ng online, you know, sharing group. Use this as a tool, itong devotions na to. Sabihin mo, pakinga, sabihin mo sa kanila, pakinggan nyo to and let's talk about it. Gamitin mo yung discussion questions as a way to generate yung usapan. And go from there kung saan pupunta yung usapan ninyo. So today, what is important sa kung gagamitin nyo ito sa inyong online small groups, you know, focus doon sa pinaka, pinaka main thing sinabi ko, which is the knowledge of the end should result in greater devotion, not speculation. Amen? So I hope na yun ang nakapture yung idea. All the rest, I'm just explaining it, everything. Okay. So uh, right now, bago tayo magpaalamanan, uh, as, as always, as usual, no? i-shout out ko yung mga naglagay ng comment dito, no? Uh, babatiin ko lang kayo and acknowledge you. Uh, for the rest, of course, siguro, you know, uh, siguro gusto nyo lang pakinggan yung devotions and then uh, you leave. Uh, I hope you'll stay kasi I want to really create a community dito sa devotions na ito, no? And I praise God for all of you who stay until the end. So, thank you. So, batiin, batiin ko na kayo ngayon right now. So, Glory Fe, uh, good morning. Thank you for listening. Pastora Tessie Lapo, maraming salamat sa'yo ano, for always listening. Thank you also for using this. Si uh, Pastora Tessie Lapo, misa, ini-edit niya yung, ano ko, yung, uh, yung gawain ko na ito. And I, I, it's okay. I, I think that's a good thing. No? Uh, kung may kinakailangan ibawas. Ano? Kasi siyempre, misa, marami akong sinasabi na kung ano-ano. But, uh, yeah, thank you, Pastora Tess, for using it. And, May the Lord ano, use you more no? uh, to bring the Word of God to your friends, to everybody else na pwede mo ma-influence yan. Okay, Russell, hello. Uh, good morning. no? Uh, thank you for listening and uh, preparing for your work dyan sa Singapore. Imelda Patong, magandang umaga sa'yo. Thank you for listening. Mr. Ella, hello po. No? Uh, thank you po sa tatlong puso. No? Thank you for for uh, those emojis. Uh, Helen, Joshua, salamat. Thank you for listening. Uh, Marge, Kamba, uh, magandang umaga. Diana, Gatos, hello. Kamusta? Diyan sa Red Cross. Uh, I hope tama pa rin ako. Nasa Red Cross ka pa rin. Uh, good morning. Thank you. Uh, Don Don, salamat. Ano? Cabradilla, together with me, Cabradilla, salamat. Thank you for listening. Uh, Elaine Resplendor, salamat po. Uh, Yambu King, yeah, thank you. And uh, by the way, you know, for those of you who want to be part of RLCC, mag-join po kayo ng group na RLCC on Facebook. Just look for it. RLCC on Facebook, yung po yung group. And uh, you can join there and, uh, you know, be part of the community. Uh, Mayet, hello, kamusta na? You know, Mayet and Maki, thank you. Pa- Panginoon, no, for bringing back si Mayet, no, na-miss ka namin Mayet, ha? Thank you for being back, no? Thank you. 
March Kamba, yes, magandang umaga. Uh, Ron Kaugdan, uh, good morning po sa lahat na nakikinig at tumutupad sa pagpapalaganap ng salita ng Diyos. Amen. Thank you, Ron. Karen, ano? Kang, Alcantara, tama ba yun, right? Good morning sa iyo. Sino itong nasa picture, okay? Ikaw ba yan? No, no. <laughs> Tita Mila, hello po. Tito Oscar, God bless you. Salamat po. Thank you po for joining itong devotions natin. Uh, GV, good morning. Amen. Uh, Lilibet Hapon, no? Yan, ewan ko ah. May mga announcements sa labas ng barangay, no? Uh, I hope na hindi nakaka-store mo sa inyo. Okay? Kaya minsan yung mga nakikinig sa ibang bansa, natutuwa sila. Sabi nila na may miss namin yung mga ingay dyan, yung mga nagtitinda ng taho and everything. <laughs> so, talagang uh, live na live tayo mga kapatid. So, mali, kung may naririnig kayong announcement sa background, ano yan, galing sa barangay, tukos sa COVID. Okay, okay si Sister Lilibet, good morning. Chester, good morning sa iyo. No? Presi Cruz, good morning. Erlinda Diaz Doria, good morning po. Salamat. Marife Palencia, salamat. Eden Anunciacion, good morning sa inyo. Yes, thank you. Tess Caballero, good morning. Ay, sorry, good afternoon pala dyan sa, sa Chicago, no? Uh, sa US, salamat. Tess Caballero, thank you for listening. Uh, Rain, hello, good morning. Uh, kasama mo ang iyong husband na si Russell. Hello, Russell. I hope na gumaling ka na, no? Maging maganda na yung pakiramdam mo, no? I prayed for you. Kaya yung dalawa ni Rain at siyempre buong family. So, ano lang, be strong in the Lord lang, no? And uh, I hope na mas gumanda ang inyong mga kalagayan at sitwasyon sa buhay, no? By the grace of God. Mr. Feli, hello po, good morning, no? Aisha, no? Aisha, Aisha, Alparo, Cortez, good morning sa'yo. Thank you for listening. Tess Reyes, hello po, no? Sama ni Brother Terry, yes. Rosemary Manga. Okay, magandang umaga sa iyo. Thank you for listening. Tesco Nanan, hello po, no? Salamat for listening. Myra uh, Kamara Baldon, no? Good morning. Thank you for listening. Oh, Sister Mabel, hello po. Mula sa Samaritan Spurs. Thank you. Good morning sa inyo. And uh, I hope na you know, naging blessing sa inyo to and you go ahead if you want to use it for anything diyan sa Samaritan Spurs. Praying for you guys. Hope na God will protect you sa ginagawa nyo, yung mga projects nyo. Uh, may the Lord be with you. No? Okay. Sige. Um, kay Lynn de la Cruz, Padre, good morning din. Thank you. Uh, Charo, magandang umaga sa iyo. Thank you for listening. Hermi Castro, amen. Marita Gose, praise God. Salamat. O oh, Rainer, no? Tagal ka tang nakita rito. Good morning. Good morning sa iyo. No? Uh, Christopher Leona, hello, Chris Leona, good morning, salamat, no, for taking the time. Uh, Maret, Saron, and kasama mo ba si Mahal, si Brother Reynald? <laughs> Hopefully, o oh, baka later siya makikinig, praise God, thank you. Good morning sa iyo, Brother Raul, okay? Align ourselves with God's purposes, yeah, okay, thank you, Chris, thank you for sharing your, ano, your thoughts. Joan Diodoro, magandang umaga. Okay, knowledge of the end should result in greater devotion, not speculation. Well, that's the main thought natin today and a message natin today. Salamat, Sister Hermi, for capturing it. Okay, ganun din, Sister Margie. Salamat po. Thank you for capturing it. Capturing it. Uh, Tess Reyes din. Salamat po. Thank you for capturing that. Uh, Tito Oscar, God may be using the pandemic to wake up the nations. He is not happy. Time for reflection here. Each one of us will discover things different from others. Collectively, it could usher in some revival. Sadly, we may discover that we have turned to idols, greed, selfishness, etc. Okay, salamat po dito, Oscar. Good thoughts. Thank you po. Okay. Uh, Russell, amen. I remember po yung sabi ni Jesus sa book of uh, Acts chapter 1. Now, it's not for us daw po to be concerned with the end times but to be more concerned how to be witnesses of Him to the world. Amen. Well said. Tama yan, Russell. Thank you. Aiko, waiting on God creates humility. It helps us to focus on the purpose and direction of our life according to God's will. Amen. Good morning, PB. Hello, Tina. Hello. 
Thank God for your life and sharing your gifts to bless us and encourage us to serve others as well. God bless you. Salamat, Sister Tina and Brother Jerry. Thank you. Ah. Thank you sa inyong ano, partnership sa ministry na ito. Thank you. Uh, RJ, okay, Navera, prayer po sa kaibigan. Wala na po kasi siyang parents. And kahit anong kamag-anak, nawalan rin po siya ng work. Dahil sa pandemic, inubos na po yung ipon niya. Lumapit po siya sa akin, nahingi po ng tulong. And gusto daw niya daw po bumalik sa church. Dati po kasi siyang umaten sa RLCC. Sana po ma-reach out ko po siya. Yes. Lord, tulungan mo po si RJ. And gamitin mo siya, Panginoon. Para ma-encourage itong uh, sinasabi niyang tao na nawala ng mga magulang at kabag-anak, etc. Lord God, uh, please use RJ, give him the grace and the capacity, the strength, Lord, uh, para matulungan niya itong kaibigan niya na ito, na makabalik sa Panginoon at uh, magkaroon muli ng, ano, ng pag-asa sa buhay. Amen. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yeah, RJ, so good. Ano, tulungan mo siya and um, if there's any one of you who wants to assist uh, dito kay RJ o to, tulungan yung kaibigan ni RJ, you can contact him privately siguro. Uh, or RJ, you can also contact uh, Franco maybe. Uh, if there is some help na pwedeng maitulong dito sa kaibigan mo. Uh, let's do our best. Magtulungan na lang tayo. No? Wala, wala naman. Di ko alam pa paano, pero let's help one another. Okay, so prayer, Aiko. Yoge, Mendoza, Maret, Prayer, Prayer, Heart. Okay, salamat po. Thank you sa inyo. No? Ay, di ko pa nabati ito si ano, Erlinda Diaz Doria. Okay, salamat po. Yeah. Kefe, uh, Prayer. Yeah, maganda naman po. Let's all pray. Uh, huwag natin kalimutan yun. Prayer is so important. Pero kung may maitutulong po tayo doon sa sinasabi ni RJ na kaibigan niya, uh, please contact RJ. No? And uh, perhaps uh, magamit siya ng Panginoon para makatulong. Amen. Uh, Virgil Magbuhos, good morning po. The shared words of God help me go through the day and give me motivation to try to be better. Amen. That's good. Salamat. Salamat, uh, Virgil. Uh, that's an encouragement. Uh, so, ano lang, uh, join ka lang dito every morning, 7 a.m. No? Uh, sino to? Edlin, Edlin Ngitpa Cardenas. You know? Good morning. Good morning din sa'yo. Yeah. Join lang kayo every, every day. Let's come together as a community online. Let's talk about the Word of God. Magtulungan po tayo and let's encourage one another. So, stay safe po mga kapatid. Ingat po kayo. God bless you. Salamat sa inyong lahat. Amen.